um, into that back straight. Emily Rad, that little yellow machine, she'd be pretty nervous right now. It's pretty flighty, as is the boat. Look at the speed coming out of Watto now in the back chute. He's holding off the addicted racing machine, the 550cc, the bigger engine. Approximately a 40 horsepower engine on that little Mulgar tunnel boat. You can tell the conditions are rough. You've just got to listen to the uh, that Mulgar, mate. Yeah. Um, it, it is really... Uh, oh, watch what I through the top. He's taking some big hits mid-corner now. Oh, what about Rad? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's lost. taking a few as well. Right, and here comes a run from Lee and Sutherland now. So he's got the boat speed on the downwind run in the black ball. Oh, takes a big bit of air into the front chute. Now Witten's got the inside. Needs to get off the gas, lean it in, stomp on it in the mid-corner. This is his second race or third race in this boat ever. Doing an unbelievable job now. Good run to the inside. Emily Rad gets some air time. And here comes Watto now to pick up the chequered flag. Oh, gee, he got caught in a bad set of chop there. And he's had to back out to let the boat settle down, and he's back on it again. Liam Sutherland uh, taking the lead on the back straight, gets through the dog leg. So uh, Liam uh, leads out from Peter Witt. Oh, Sutherland, as, a, as my son Zach Murphy will attest to, you can blow one of these 25s over backwards. You take a big hit, you're going too hard into the headwind. They will lift you up and spit you out. Huge run coming now from Nathan Stevens on Emily Rad. The blue addicted machine hooks up and goes forward. What a beautiful run. He's moved up into third spot now. Oh, he's going to take second very shortly too, Murph. He's going to go right around the outside here of oh, Peter Witt. Yes, he's and that moves into second. Yes, and out in front, Liam Sutherland. So he's actually obviously in the chop, but he's got a clean run in front of him. No boat wash to deal with. He's got to focus now, and the hands will be working furiously on the wheel to try and keep these little 25 horsepower balanced. He's got the head down now. He's trying to uh, lean forward to get the boat moving in the right direction. Oh, look, you can see them lifting off the seat out there. This is right at the pointy end of 25s. Emily Rad now picks up another spot. So the handicapping working. Oh, they're just mighty getting a bit of air. Oh, Emily, Emily Rad there getting skyward. Heading into the bottom corner. Oh, you could not pay me enough money oh. to be out there in addicted right now. Watto is getting beaten up. Have a look at him. It's a boat. It's just a super light boat and just not dealing with the chop. He's just getting belted around the head and the body, getting thrown from side to side. Green flag racing. Next time round, we'll see the yellow, I think. And it's on at the front of the field. Nathan Stevens, the kid from East Gippsland now, in the addicted machine. Makes the move into P1. And Paul Whiten, he's got his sights set on the yellow machine in front of him of Excalibur. A beautiful run into the wind. The APBA uh, owned a boat. Very, very nice in the upwind leg, lacking a little bit of boat speed down in the front, but uh, making up for it. Nathan Stevens now picks up the yellow flag. So one more lap to go for the uh, the man with the mullet out of Gippsland. Okay, so out to the yellow boat in the centre. The uh, you'll see rescue one hoisting now the start flag. So two flags will be shown to the drivers. So all the drivers on board watching intently. The first flag will lower, so the fuel pump system on, ignition's on. And then when that second flag drops, bang, hit the starter button and launch these boats in gear to get away from the dock as quick as you can. Go is the call. Let's see what happens. This senior fire works. Very, very nice start. There's nothing between Watch Me Pop and Shelby Sonta. Shelby with the inside run, full throttle. Brian eaves away nicely. Paige Kinnean, I think, opting out of this one with the uh, conditions down there. We'll wait and see if she joins the field. She'll need to go now. No, so Paige Kinnean opting out. And this is their first season in. Look it up into the back straight, straight in that little headwind of Linny. And uh, there they're going to have to settle the boats down and just roll through this top turn. Nicely through goes Sonta. There goes Jake Bowen, Ryan Eves as well. So tucked in very nice. By a few big hits in the mid corner there. So a little bit of work to do. So these guys just have to keep a level head in these first couple of laps just to get an understanding of how these boats are going to be formed all around the track there, Lenny.
Yeah, out in the mouth stuff a little bit, uh, going out that back straight, but uh, Shelby's kind of gone to an early lead over Jakey Bone. Ryan is in third, but uh, Shelby's, well, probably our, our most experienced driver out in the field there. So she's gone to that early lead. We're going to see a big charge here from uh, Ryan Ease by the looks of it on Jakey Bowen for sec. Yes, and I need to uh, send the letter settle these down now. So obviously pole one, uh, turn one, they've got to hold their poles, but uh, the turns after that, they don't need to. So I'd say both Jake Bowen and particularly Ryan Ease went in that corner too hot, realised probably mid-corner. But um, this is said, this is a learning curve for them. This is a, an open water lake race. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a big hook and a moment there from full throttle Ryan Eaves. Turns the boat around 180 degrees, so... One of the things that uh, it's easy to do is to actually bury the nose of the boat too deep. Um, settle the nose of the boat down to try and run too hard. And in that case, too much sponsor and fit in, and it turned, uh, it turned Rhino Eaves around in full throttle. So, obviously, maybe a little bit less boat speed, a little bit more nose elevation will help. Um, but uh, far better for me to try and tell these kids how to drive these boats because they're far better at it than I ever will be. Yeah, that was basically what uh, Simon Troy said was a little bit earlier, Smurf. And uh, I'll tell you what young uh, by nature, but uh, I tell you what, the kids are doing a fabulous job on the water. Yeah, they certainly are, mate. And this is uh, so this is pretty competitive racing. We've got uh, some of the best gear. This class, the, F, uh, the F4 class, is an international category of racing. We've had some of the best in the world competing out of Australia. Uh, Louis Vella is one of them. So standard hull length, standard hull design, uh, and standard engine. So different manufacturers of hulls. Shelby and uh, Ryan is running the Mulgard hulls. Um, and uh, Jakey Bowen in the Kangwa hull manufactured out of Asia. So uh, subtle differences, but uh, you can see there Ryan Eves just giving the boat a little bit more trim. You can see the water right in the front of the Sponsons there. Eases up much better there through that turn. Keeps it under control, but Shelby's starting to look very nice through the right hander now. Just letting the boat, you can see the confidence starting to build. Just letting the boat lift a little bit more, lap by lap. Oh, Ryan Eves has just gone around again, same spot. Exactly the same spot as the young fella, so uh, just as he's, uh, he's just probably going to lighten the nose of that boat a little bit and take a little bit of load off the front of those sponsors, but he will get there. Okay, Shelby Santa now picking up another lap. Jakey Bowen, you can see the boat getting a little bit airborne. One of the things that said course conditions change, obviously lap by lap. We talked about it before. This is not tarmac road racing, Lenny. And a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of murmur that the uh, the right hand dogwood boys have just maybe moved 10, 10 metres or so down the course. But uh, obviously lap by lap, they're seeing it as it comes, mate. Yeah. Start lap. So Shelby's uh, opened up quite a gap now over Jake. Now we're going to keep our eye on Ryan. He hopefully he won't make it uh, three times. On the hat trick now, but there you can see he's got the nose of the boat lifted up a little bit higher. Yeah, that's much better through there. But right here, as we see, he's fighting in there. So he's got the bows of the boat buried a little bit, which is uh, giving a bit of thought here. These boats are very, very short. Um, so when they choose the short and wide. Um, when they choose to uh, decide to fight a sponsor in and want to turn, it's very hard to grab it back. You need the reflexes of a cat, so doing very, very nicely. And, and this is all experience for these young guns. Um, racing to the conditions, is, uh, as I mentioned that before, um, and um, it's always a balancing act from the operations team as to whether they let racing go ahead. Um, but uh, other parts of the world, they wouldn't think twice about racing in these conditions. They'd be out there going full throttle. So, uh, you know, it's all about throttle control here, Murph. It's, uh, Soft is better, I, I believe. Yeah, no, very sensible operations from all these guys. Sponsor now through the right hander. So this is a big race for these guys. So big six lapper out there for the Formula Four. Now we've got some poles through as well, Linny. Actually, I should mention we've had a uh, we've got a mobile phone handed in. Uh, from the area down near the crane of yesterday. Now, I do know it's part of the Peter McDonald camp. So if anyone uh, has, um, anyone knows anyone from the Peter McDonald camp, there's a Samsung phone here. 
So uh, yeah, if you do know them and you've got a way of getting them a message, letting them let them know that the uh, we've got their telephone at the control tower, and we'll find a way to get it back to them. Yellow flag now, Shelby Sonta, so one lap to go for Shelby Sonta. Roughly a, a, a main straight uh, in front of Jake Bowen in second, third to uh, Ryan Ease. So one to go, they've done a fab job so far, one lap to go as Murph just said. You know, she's, uh, and said that maybe, that, like Shelby's got a little bit more experience than these two, but uh, you can just see she's got some uh, very experienced people talking to her and away around the track, but you can see the, those are both that little bit lighter there and um, it's just not really stomping the accelerator, we're just letting the boat find its way across this uh, this little chop. You can see there's a couple of rollers in front of us here right now, plenty that they're half serious uh, waves out there for these small boats to uh, navigate their way through. Jake Bowen doing a beautiful job now, watch me pop through the right hand corner, Ryan Eaves, yeah. So Ryan is just motoring that boat through the back chute, gets around nice and cleanly. So uh, check and flag time, ladies and gentlemen. Race one, round three goes to the 22 GBS plant hire machine of Shelby Sonta. Yeah, the Queensland sensation all the way from Rockhampton. So well done to the little Queensland supermodel and a big shout out to her crew, Kobsky Mining Services, for their support of her and all her fans at Rockhampton Grammar School up there in uh, in the sunny north. Who probably has about seven jumpers on right now down there in the big tree. Second place and a very, very nice consistent boat for this young kid. Love the way he's been this boat right now. Mr. Jake Bowen, you can watch me pop so good on Jake and Ryan East in the full throttle machine. Great run yesterday. Comes off the pace, pops out, so working pretty hard, he's coming in there, he's easy. 